Breathing in dust <laughs> is unpleasant. But breathing in silica dust is a whole lot worse. <coughs> it's not obvious from the start, but the consequences can be serious. And over time, they can even be fatal. In Quebec, the annual number of deaths caused by silica exposure is on the rise. As a construction professional, you should already know how to avoid and control the risk of injury from silica dust exposure. Since silica dust exposure can have serious consequences, and there are several ways to prevent it, exposure to silica dust is considered zero tolerance. Since silica can be found in many materials on the construction site, there is no shortage of risks of breathing it in. But it's not complicated. Start by properly planning your job site. You'll also need a respiratory protection program. It's the law. The program must include, among other things, policies such as a facial hair policy, information on caring for and adjusting respiratory protective equipment, and a fit test register. The APCHQ can help you if you don't already have one. Every effort should be made to minimize emissions. All equipment must have a water hose or capture system equipped with a HEPA filter. And it goes without saying, they must be in working order. Since we can't possibly eliminate all silica dust, it's essential that we all wear personal protective equipment. Appropriate respiratory protective equipment should be worn based on the task at hand. This device must be properly fitted, cared for, and stored. To avoid contact with skin, wear clothing that covers your arms, legs, and hands, as well as safety glasses. To protect other workers on the job site, it's a good idea to block off the working area. This will reduce the risk of exposure to silica dust and flying particles during cutting. Being a professional is all about proper planning, because that's how you finish a job safely. And remember, APCSQ advisors are always here to help.